So I'm Kettering has four outpatient centers right now that we're curating shows for the patients involving artists in the community and this gallery in particular. We're working, we're trying to work right now exclusively with artists from Monmouth County. Uh, we've got Robin Ellen Bogan, Laura Petrovich Cheney, and Roddy Wildman. What makes, I guess, this model for having a, uh, a community arts gallery different from the way it's often run in institutions and in uh, uh, like a healthcare network is that rather than just exclusively working with an advisor or a consultant to purchase art, hang their art on the walls, and then let that work stay there forever, what we're trying to do with this is have something that offers you know, some, some respite for the patients, some, you know, some form of healing through art. The space is extraordinary. It's very unique in a healthcare setting to have an art gallery. And this is a great opportunity for us to uh, invite our patients, caregivers, and guests, and even employees of the space to sort of step out of the clinical care areas into an area that's a little bit more natural and comforting for them. Um, this space lends for lots of natural light coming in, so also it's a unique opportunity for us to bring the elements of the outside into this art gallery, really ultimately lending for a warm and comforting experience and bringing art into a healthcare facility. My name is Roddy Wildman. I'm a visual artist out of Ocean Grove, New Jersey. Um, I work with reclaim materials. Um, I create intarsia-like inlays, uh, wall sculptures, out of materials that I find from job sites, from furniture that people were discarding and throwing out. This piece uh, I made with materials that I found from a couple different locations, Asbury Park, New Jersey, Ocean Grove, and some of the blues actually came from uh, Sag Harbor in New York. So I get my materials from uh, wherever I am. The patina on these pieces you can't recreate. Um, that's, that's why I'm so attracted to this. There's so much history in some of the pieces. Being included in Memorial Sloan Catherine's Gallery here uh, is, a, is a major honor for me and it's a, it's a perfect fit for my work. The, the importance and meaning behind it has to do with second chances also. Um, so that completely translates into um, the healing environment. It fits perfectly in the healing environment. We find that, that it absolutely helps, and um, being that this particular atrium in the art gallery is away from the clinical areas, it allows the patient and caregivers to step into an environment that's outside of clinical. It makes them, again, feeling very natural and comforting, and taking their mind away from perhaps what they're actually experiencing and bringing it back into sort of normal day-to-day -day activity.